And I think more likely our story of how the stars grow is wrong. Our universe began approximately 14 billion years ago and has been continually evolving and transforming ever since. However, recent discoveries from the Webb telescope have sparked a fascinating realization. Either our understanding of the universe's age is incorrect or our entire concept of its origin needs to be reconsidered. Since starting its scientific operations, the Webb Telescope has astonished scientists with its groundbreaking and sometimes controversial discoveries. These range from detecting distant stars to uncovering the farthest galaxies, challenging existing cosmological theories. The telescope has observed galaxies that existed a mere 300 to 400 million years after the Big Bang. However, there's a limit to how far back the telescope can see. According to current cosmological models, the web cannot peer beyond the so-called Dark Ages, a period when the universe was devoid of light-emitting stars and galaxies. The farthest detectable phenomenon is the cosmic microwave background radiation. But now, a groundbreaking discovery may overturn this understanding. Recent Webb observations suggest that we might be wrong about the universe's size and age. A newly published study has revealed images showing objects older than the estimated age of the universe itself. These distant galaxies are visible in Webb's data and are among the most ancient candidates ever observed. This unexpected finding poses a major challenge to astronomy, shaking the foundations of our understanding of the universe's origins. Although these galaxies require peer review to confirm their validity, the Webb Telescope's observations already hint at a profound challenge to standard cosmological models. Previously, the record for the most distant galaxy was held by GNZ-11, discovered by the Hubble Telescope, dating to around 400 million years after the Big Bang. It represented the universe's first generation of galaxies. However, Webb's observations have identified four galaxies even older, including one named GSZ-13, which now holds the record for the farthest and potentially oldest galaxy ever observed. The Webb Telescope captured images of Galaxy Jade's GSZ-13 as it appeared 325 million years after the Big Bang. This galaxy, currently the farthest observed, is now calculated to be 33 billion light years from Earth due to the universe's expansion since the light initially left the galaxy. However, the observational data presented unexpected findings that left scientists astonished. Numerous early galaxies, previously unseen, suddenly became visible in the data, including one with a redshift of 17-something considered impossible by current models. Later, spectroscopy revealed that this galaxy was not as distant as initially thought. Instead, it had a redshift of five, and a dust cloud between the galaxy and the Webb telescope caused it to appear much farther away. Peter Van Dockum, an astronomer at Yale University not involved in the research, noted that the Webb telescope might have identified galaxies even closer to the Big Bang. Some candidates, if verified, could date back to when the universe was less than 200 million years old. Such data raises significant issues for the current cosmological model as the abundance of galaxies near the Big Bang introduces more challenges to address. The surprises don't stop there. While high redshift galaxies have already challenged scientific understanding, Webb recently uncovered something even more remarkable in the early universe. The standard cosmological model predicts that early galaxies should be smaller, less organized, and simpler. Yet, Webb's observations contradict this expectation. 
Some early galaxies observed are not only massive, but also highly structured and complex, akin to the Milky Way. This finding directly challenges the established understanding of how stars and galaxies formed in the universe's early days. Dr. John C. Mather, a Nobel laureate and senior project scientist for the Webb Telescope, expressed his amazement at these discoveries. We're looking further back in time than ever before, and it's incredibly exciting, he said. He emphasized that while the expanding universe concept remains intact, the understanding of star and galaxy formation might need reevaluation. These early galaxies were larger, brighter, and hotter than scientists anticipated, leaving some to question if our understanding of cosmic history is fundamentally flawed. Dr. Mather, however, believes the issue lies more with our theories about star growth than the story of the universe's expansion. The Webb Telescope captured an image of a galaxy named Sears 2112 which existed just a few million years after the Big Bang. Interestingly, this galaxy is nearly the same size as our Milky Way. The discovery of such galaxies resembling the Milky Way so soon after the Big Bang presents a significant challenge to the current cosmological model. Astronomers previously believed barred spiral galaxies like the Milky Way only appeared when the universe was at least halfway through its current age, it was thought that billions of years were required for galaxies to evolve and develop bars in their centers, a feature associated with mature galaxies. Observations from the Hubble Space Telescope also suggested barred galaxies were rare in the early universe. However, the James Webb Space Telescope has uncovered new evidence that challenges these assumptions. The discovery of the spiral galaxy Sears 2112, which existed 11.7 billion years ago, when the universe was just 15% of its current age, suggests that Milky Way-like galaxies formed much earlier than previously thought. Galaxies typically evolve over billions of years through processes such as mergers, collisions, and star formation. These changes shape galaxies' size, structure, and composition, reflecting a continuous non-random process of transformation. Yet, Sears 2112's existence suggests this evolution might have occurred in less than a billion years. The presence of these unexpectedly mature early galaxy candidates challenges our understanding of galaxy formation and the early universe. Are our models of galaxy evolution incomplete? Or do we need to rethink our understanding of the universe's origins? If you've watched this video, share your thoughts in the comments below.